Hello class, this is Demetrius Wilson with BA132, Computer Applications for Managers. Uh, we're starting with Chapter 1, an introduction to computers. You always have to have some type of intro uh, so that you can learn and understand exactly what we're going to be dealing with throughout the semester. And this will be a very short PowerPoint presentation. Uh, in regards to computers, uh, we use computers to make tasks more efficient. Uh, think back to what you would have done uh, before computers. How would you have written up a document? You write them all by 10 documents by hand. Uh, most of you can't even think back uh, that far or might not have been alive when uh, when that was the method of, of completing a document. Uh, you know, we had typewriters. Some of you may have never even used a typewriter before. Uh, but these are some of the tasks that uh, can uh, be completed in a more efficient manner using computers. Uh, inventory tracking, which is very important to business managing budgets also very important to budget but very important to businesses and also households uh, representing companies in uh, communication uh, such as sending out emails sending out videos uh, searching the internet uh, no more encyclopedia britannicas or going to the library everybody just goes straight to the internet as their source of, of information uh, organizing and accessing databases, uh, such as, uh, you know, a database that you might need for uh, work that you're doing at your company, uh, trying to look up a member or a client or things of that nature, and designing presentations just like this PowerPoint presentations. You can't do it without a computer. Uh, it's just what we need to do. Uh, back in the day, uh, they, they had other methods like those big uh, white um, uh, fold over pieces of paper where they would draw on them or print things there. Uh, that you know those things most of you can't even think uh, back that far uh, to when when that was the method and just think uh, if the power goes out at your company depending upon what you do I know specifically for what I've doing I've always done uh, then there's nothing to do uh, can't do anything without a computer in my day job uh, can't do anything uh, without a computer uh, at any of the jobs uh, most for the most part that I've had outside of, uh, of sales jobs uh, so Windows versus Mac, uh, that's, uh, there are a couple of discussions and assignments that are listed in Canvas. So I want you guys to uh, let me know your opinion and, uh, and listen to the opinions of others. Uh, I use Windows and I use Mac. Um, I have a Mac desktop at home, uh, for work. I, I have a Mac, uh, but I also have a, uh, I have a Windows or a PC computer, uh, for, uh, you know, for, uh, for other purposes or things that I've used. Uh, so it's not just like a, a drop dead choice for, for myself, uh, but for some of you, it may be. Uh, if I were to defer to one, it's probably going to lean to the side of a Mac, uh, just because uh, I have a MacBook uh, for work and also have a desktop, uh, you know, at home. Uh, you know, typically that, that's, you know, how you can tell which way you're leaning is, is you know, what, what desktop uh, uh, do you use? Uh, so Windows logo is uh, Windows, obviously, you see that one right there, and the Apple Apple logo is the Mac uh, operating system. Uh, so obviously it's clearly different. You can't, you don't get confused or uh, between, you know, a Mac and, and a, a Windows uh, a PC. A uh, common terminology, a uh, desktop is the first screen after logging in. So you log in, put in your password, if you have a password, which you should, and then bam, it comes up to here to a desktop. Uh, the window is adjustable and, uh, you know, you have, you know, different options when you click here on that uh, Windows button and your toolbar slash uh, ta uh, taskbar uh, that you have down there. You can, you know, things that you pin to this bar, uh, you can click on those, uh, you know, to get things like uh, your snipping tool or um, or like uh, I'm using screencast and like on mine, I have it down here on screencast where I can just click on it because it's something that I use all the time. Use screencast to make these videos. Uh, these are shortcuts. Uh, so what I want you to do on this is I want you to pause the video and I want you to look at the shortcuts. Uh, here's the keyboard over here on the side. Here's the shortcuts there. And just one, you know, general theme that you'll see is that command is what you put command, you know, C, command V uh, for a Mac. And then control is what you use for a PC, uh, you know, for a Windows computer. So when you hit control, like C, that's copy. Uh, when you're using Windows, and if you hit Command C, that's copy uh, for Mac. So I want you to pause, look at all of these, right? Uh, and I'm not just going to stay here on the page and read them to you, but I just want you to look over and make sure you know all of them. If you know all of them, uh, then go ahead and move forward, and then check out the keyboard as well. Uh, start menu. Uh, it's just a little closer view of the start menu. So frequently used programs button in the bottom left hand corner, right? So you'll see all these, you know, different things that you know that'll pop up that you use all the time. Your control panel gear uh, is right above uh, the start button, right? And uh, shutting down your computer is also located here, right? So if you click there, it's going to come up and give you an option 
uh, to shut down. So typically if you're using a Windows computer, which most of you probably are, uh, you're going to click here and then all these other options are going to come up. Another way to uh, thing to click on uh, for options to come up is Windows E. Hit that little Windows, hold down the little Windows button on your computer and click on E and uh, and things come up. Uh, all your, you know, things come up to go into your desktop, your downloads, all uh, things of that nature. Very, very useful uh, to use. Uh, creating files and folders, just like I just talked about, uh, Windows 10, File Explorer, you just hit Windows E, that's a shortcut, and all these things come up. Like I said, you can access your desktop, downloads, uh, OneDrive, documents, music, pictures, videos, everything there. Uh, and uh, you can also create a new folder at the top uh, of the window. So just, you know, options like, hey, Windows E, I want to create a new folder, this is my BA132 class. Uh, organizing files and folders, uh, very simple and easy. You know, basically these things, you just go in there and just kind of fiddle around. You hit Windows E, make a few folders, and then you right-click, and you, you'll see a lot of different options that you have there. Uh, so right-click file and select properties, uh, select and moving files, uh, and Control-C will copy uh, the selected file. So if you want to copy, so you make this folder, you put things in the folder, uh, and then you click on the folder and hit control C, copy it. And then you go to your desktop and hit control V and you move that folder over from your folder to your desktop. Control copy, control C, copy, control V, paste, which you obviously know from a few slides uh, before. Uh, deleting files and folders. Uh, you can always right click and delete or you can highlight and press the actual delete button on your keyboard. Uh, so right click on file and select delete also can use on the keyboard, just like I just said. Uh, deleted files aren't gone forever. You can go to Recycle Bin and see if you can retrieve them. Uh, recycle Bin, Empty, prop, empty uh, Properties, and Restore Options. Uh, you know, you guys will have assignment uh, that has to do with the Recycle Bin, uh, but a lot of times with emails and not necessarily Recycle Bin on your computer, uh, you have to clear those deleted files out just because it's using up storage, and you can always, you know, go back to those. Sometimes people don't don't realize that, you know, they just click on Delete that those files are uh, files are definitely still there. Uh, snips and screenshots, you'll use that for a lot of assignments in this class. You use the snipping tool. Uh, if you, you're more complex, you do design and stuff like that, you'll have like a Snagit. Uh, that's one of the programs that you could use on there. Uh, but the one that comes with the Windows computer is, is a snipping, the snipping tool. Uh, so screenshot was displayed on the computer screen. So if you just hit a like print screen, it'll tell you, it'll give you a print screen of exactly what's on the screen. So it'll give you exactly this. But if you use a snipping tool, I can kind of just, I only want this part. Um, Rectangular screenshot, click and drag, screenshot option shown in the image. Uh, snip is when you take a small part of the screen. So if I just want these words, if I just want snips and screenshots, then that's uh, that's all I'm going to take from there. Uh, and it's very, very useful. I use that all the time. But, you know, typically if you if you already have it, then use something like Snagit. Um, that's, you know, much more user friendly. Uh, and then just a quick review. Uh, I'm not going to go over all of these, but I want you to uh, pause it and then go over these questions. Like, how do you determine what your op what operating system you have? You should be able to obviously you know by the computer, but I want you to be able to go and click and say, okay, here's where it shows what operating system I'm working on. Are you able to manage uh, multiple windows? So obviously you can use different tabs, and you should be able to, and you should have a computer in which you open up tabs and and move around different windows, have different things open. I know when I'm at work, I have probably about 15 tabs open at once, uh, and that that's whether I'm on a um, on a on a Windows computer because I do have a Surface for work as well, or I'm on a MacBook uh, for work. Uh, what are some of the keyboard shortcuts that you can perform, like uh, Control Copy, Control Paste, uh, all these different things that are listed on the uh, previous slide? Are you now able to navigate the Start menu uh, to locate programs, files, and settings? Right, so go to Start menu. You can locate. Hey, I'll go to my Solitaire game. Uh, which I've been playing and it's right there because it's one of my favorites. Uh, you can now create files and folders just by right clicking. Very, very easy. Um, how you can correctly organize files and folders. You can modify by, uh, date received, date created, or not date received, but date created and also by, uh, you know, alphabetical order. Uh, are you able to delete and restore files uh, using the recycle bin? That should be very, very, very easy. Uh, very clear on that. And how you tape a, uh, take a snip or a screenshot. Uh, so you can either hit print screen or you can take a, a snip of just a portion of that actual screen. Uh, so like I said, it's just be, be really short, trying to give you an overview of what we're talking about, uh, what you should be keying on in your reading. Uh, make sure that you read the, uh, the entire chapter uh, prior to taking the quiz because uh, it will really help you and enhance your grade. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free uh, to email me and, and let me know. Uh, but these uh, these PowerPoint presentations aren't very long for BA 132. Uh, so, you know, just bear with me for the, you know, 
uh, nine to, to, to 15 minutes uh, that we're going over this and then uh, they move on to the rest of, of your module. Uh, so that's it for uh, chapter one. And uh, then since in, in week one, you'll be uh, doing module one and module two, just go ahead and uh, move on uh, to week, uh, the week, uh, not the week two, but the chapter two uh, lecture as well. Uh, but that's all. So I hope you guys all have a good day, great week, and see you on the next video.